Hello, darling ones. Uh, this is another little go live. And um, so the ideas that I wanted to share with you today is something that I've been speaking a lot about during uh, the therapy sessions. And this is also an idea that has been coming up a great deal for a long time. And it seems that it needs to be revisited, reheard, and reconnected into right now. So I want us to imagine that we are on a journey and through this mind and this body and this being, it's giving us an opportunity of holding a space, holding a form so we can be informed through this life journey. And we imagine that the space that we're holding is us as a little capsule in the body of all that is. We're not separate. We're very much connected and in the same, the same energy field, the same space. We are the same space of energy. We're not a separate um, detached aspect that has to jump through hoops or do anything special in order to deserve the right to be in this beautiful space. We are already in this beautiful space and we are beautiful beings being in this space. So let's imagine that we hold a space like a center point, a little capsule, and that we have a divine and sacred contract, a path a pathway that is um, intended for us to show up in our most delightful and most fabulous way. So we start here at the center point and the, the path that would be in alignment would be this path, the path that is guiding us along a beautiful aligned, connected to our divine and sacred aspect. That is the journey that we, um, that we probably intended to follow and that we would have some deviations along the way, but that we would get back and we would get back into this, this, this sacred alignment, our contract. But imagine that this is like the guiding post, like the compass. And we all know when we are out of our compass. And we know when we choose these paths that are not quite in alignment because we can feel it. We feel we go out of our truth or out of our space or out of alignment. So let me use these very fabulous tools of guidance. <laughs> so here we are, the line of a path, the path of alignment, the path that really is our path that will help us to do this life with more ease and grace if we chose this one. But being the humans that we are, we don't always choose the path of ease or the path that, that really is our truth. We do all these funny deviations. So imagine that we choose to do a path that is kind of where I should be doing, but it's not quite, not quite. So I go a little bit out of this pathway. And so I'm still moving along this trajectory, but I'm just a slight little bit away from the center point. Now notice the space here where we decide to split off from our point of access at that point there is a very little gap, hardly noticeable, from this aligned space and the space that we're moving away from. It's just a little movement, hardly noticeable. And we think it's okay. It's okay because it's just such a tiny space away. And then we go a little further along our journey and we notice that the space becomes a little greater. And we go a little further and the space becomes even more. We're a little further away from our truth, our alignment. And so it goes on. And if we were to continue to take this journey, we would notice that we would, over time, be so far away from our first signal. This entire space would be the space that we are away from our truth and our signal. And so no wonder when we take big journeys, not coming back, not coming back into our alignment, not coming back into our truth, that we start to feel very disconnected, like our life is not worth it. And we start feeling hopeless and we feel disillusioned and we start saying, why am I here? Why bother? What's it all about? When we are in, our in alignment, no matter what the life looks like, no matter what the journey is, we are also bringing our awareness directly from a center point. And if you were to look at it just like a little picture, and uh, let me just show it to you like this, yes, yes, there, like that. Imagine, oh, now I've got to get my direction right. Here, imagine that being your center point, 
And from your center, you have the opportunity of the life that is in alignment or the life that is that is outside of the traje trajectory, that is just a little, a little off. But if we were to be able to come back to the center point, and if we were able to, to refocus to our center and to who we truly are, then imagine that if we are staying centered with the the impulse of who we are, the essence of who we are, then we really could choose to do any direction, any space from the center point because we are holding our center and the center has the impulse, the seed, the knowing, the divine and sacred contract and we're always coming home to it whether we move in this direction or that direction but if we come home to our center point. So let's imagine that we can start to do that and to bring ourselves back to our center. Whew, that will be very nice. And we can do this a lot. We can do it during the day and we can do it in just a moment. And one of the ways that I like to do this is just in a single moment, just stop what I'm doing and take a breath. And as you take this beautiful breath through your body, think about you holding a space. And as you breathe out, drop your awareness and your whole being into the presence that you're in right now, the place, the space that you're in right now. And drop your awareness right through the soles of your feet and imagining that you have roots going deep down into the center of the earth. So you're holding yourself grounded and connected and holding your space and holding your place. And then if you just stay there a little while and breathe, not put in your mind any I must, shoulds and have tos, no agendas, just be in that space for a moment. Clear your energy, clear your mind. Just be there, nothing else, no requirements, no performance. And you will see that there will be a great difference to being in this moment and then when you come back and allow yourself to continue in this beautiful life journey. And you will be able to do what comes towards you with ease and grace because you are in your center and you are firm, aligned, connected and able to connect into any pathway but still stay your own truth. And you bring you to every situation because you are the center of your intention and your being and your light and your love. And you bring that to every space. So it makes a huge, huge difference. I hope that that will be helpful to you. And I hope that you can um, adjust a little bit in the day and just get that right and feel that center point. So much love, namaste heart and soul and may you be blessed on this journey.